Hi, I'm Dan Ray with IT Security Guru, and today we're talking Bad BIOS. So Bad BIOS was discovered by someone called Dragos Rayu about three years ago, where he saw encrypted data packets were being sent to and from an effective machine um, with no obvious network connection. This is according to Ars Technica in a recent report. Uh, there was no Bluetooth enabled, no Wi-Fi switched on, and actually no power to the machine. Um, it seems that the malware was able to jump back and forth between machines. Um, Speakers and mic control were also disabled. How was this able to do this? It's called the Basic Input Output System, BIOS, B-I-O-S, and apparently used high frequency transmissions to send the malware back and forth. I've got a bad feeling about this. The report has meant with some level of skepticism. Bruce Schneier, for example, said, I'm not sure what to make of this. When I first read it, I thought it was a hoax, but others are taking it seriously. I think it's a real story. I don't know whether the facts are real, and I haven't seen anything about this malware that actually does. Bruce, if you're suspicious, I bet most people will be. So the research will be actually released this week. Uh, according to Ars Technica, Rob Graham said this was true. Some people saying yeah, it could be fun, it could be completely false, who knows. Uh, we'll find out this week when he actually announces when Dragos presents the final research. Because apparently he actually brought a new laptop, a new laptop, and Upon plugging a USB stick in, there was no auto run, nothing executed, yet it still got infected. Is this the new malware? Are things getting infected just simply by jumping from one to another? We'll find out in a couple of days' time. But for the meantime, just be scared of bad BIOS.